Congrats, you just click on the right video. You are trying to create a Stripe account, but you are from non-supported country. I understand, it can be so frustrating. Now, in the past few months, I've created a two video on how you can create a Stripe account from non-supported country. Now, with these two video, you'll be able to create a Stripe account from non-supported country. But the thing is that, for you to create a Stripe account from non-supported country, you need to set up a US company or a UK company. But recently, UK company house have increased their company setup fee, which lead more people to do research on how you can create a Stripe account without setting up a company. Personally, and to be honest with you, I would recommend you should set up a UK company to set up a Stripe account. This way, it's more reliable. But if you are on a budget and you don't have money to set up a UK company, then I got it covered. Because in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can set up a Stripe account without setting up a US LLC or UK company. Now, if you still want to follow the step on how you can set up a UK company, then use that UK company to set up a Stripe account. Then you want to share the description of this video. I'm going to leave a link there that is going to walk you through on how you can do that. But if you still want to set up a Stripe account without setting up a UK company, then follow everything I'm going to be teaching you in this video step by step. And also for you to use this method I'm about to show you right now, you are going to need a utility bill and you can also check the description of this video i'm going to leave a link there where you can get your utility bill so without wasting much time let's jump right into the video all right so what you want to do is to come to the um, stripe.com then click on this sign in now once you get to this page what you want to do is you want to scroll down so you find this sign up now at this point this is where you want to put your this is where you want to put your email address and your full name and right here, you want to change this to United Kingdom. We are going to be using United Kingdom as the country. Then put your password. Then once you are done, just click on Create Account. So I'm just going to fill in those information so that you can proceed to the next step. All right. So once you get to, uh, once you click on that, you are go it's going to land you right here where you say, first let's verify your email. So it's going to ask you to check the email address you use. So I'm just going to check the email address. So this is the email right here. So I'm just going to click here. Then I'm going to click here to verify the email. All right. So once you do that, the next thing you want to do is to click on activate payment. All right. Once you get to this point, this is where you want to choose um, the business location. Then you want to see, choose the business type. So um, right here in this video, we are, we are going to choose individual or sole proprietor. Then click on continue. All right, so at this point, this is where you want to put your first name and the last name. Now, if you have three names in your passport or in your ID card, then you want to put your first name should be two names because your your first and middle name, that is where you are going to put this first name. Then you are going to put your last name, which is your surname. And also, you might be asking, if I'm using VPN for this method, no, you are not going to use VPN. Don't use VPN. If you use VPN, it might get into trouble. So don't use VPN. So... Once I'm just going to fill that. All right. So once that is done, you want to come here and pick your date of birth. You want to pick the date of birth as it appears on your ID card, exactly as it appears on your ID card, because at the end of the registration, you are going to use your ID card to verify this account. So I'm just going to come here. Now, once you do that, it's going to ask you for your home address. If you live in UK, that should not be an issue. But for most people that are watching this video, you don't live in UK. So what you want to do right now is to head over to map, then click on this Google map. So once you click on that Google map, just come here and type London, United Kingdom. As you can see right here, London, United Kingdom. All right. So what I'm going to do right now is that I'm going, I'm just going to zoom to any of this address. So, um, let me see. So let me pick somewhere here. Okay, so this is the address I'm going to use. So this is the full address right here. So I'm just going to copy it. Now you can also go to Google and type random UK address, but I want to use a real UK address so that when Stripe wants to map this, they are going to map it as real UK address. So I'm just going to copy this and come back to my Stripe and paste it right here. Now, um, I'm going to remove this UK. Then I'm going to copy this. This is the postal code Then paste it here. Then this is the city, Watford. Then I'm going to remove that. 
Okay, so as I said earlier, uh, for you to verify this address, you need the utility B. And you can get the utility B from the description in this video. So once I do that, the next thing I want to do is to come here and input a UK phone number. And you can also use your country phone number like myself. I can come here and change this country to Nigeria. Just type Nigeria. If you are not from Nigeria, just type your country. Then input the phone number right here. But if you have a UK phone number, you can use your UK phone number. So once you input your phone number, just click on continue. So once you get here, the next thing you want to do, you can see they ask you to provide VAT, but VAT is not a more. You can see that it's an optional. It's optional. So you can come here and choose your industry. So for me, uh, my shoes or digital products, selling of digital products, I can choose other digital products. Depends on the kind of niche or the kind of product you want to use it to sell. If you want to use it to sell your online courses, your service, you can just pick it from here. Now, about the website, you can put your website link. If you don't have a website, you can put your social media link like Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, and so on and so forth. Once you are done with that, just come here and put the product description right here. So I'm just going to do that right away. Alright, so once you are done with that, just come here and click on continue. Now at this point, this is where you want to talk about how you want to fulfill your order. If you offer, if you offer online courses, you know that your students will get access to the course immediately. If you offer data service on the other, maybe you run Facebook adverts, Instagram adverts, and so on and so forth, you can come here and select maybe within two weeks or within a month. So I'm just going to go with two weeks. So once I'm done with that, I'm just going to click on continue. All right, at this page this is where I want to put what the statement my customer is going to receive anytime they use my service. So I'm just going to put, um, so I'm just going to put tutorial. Then here I'm going to leave it the way it is. Now here I'm going to come back again and choose the phone number. Remember I used Nigeria the last time. You can use UK number if you have. If you don't have UK number, you don't need to bother yourself about it. You can use your country phone number. So at this point, this is where you want to put your account number. So this is the account number they are going to use to pay you out anytime they want. You want to receive your payment. Maybe the payment you receive from your customer, you want to withdraw it out of your account. So this is the account number they are going to send it to. Now, if you live in Nigeria, you can use Euro account from either GigPay or Gray, or you can use Euro account from Pioneer. So if you don't live in Nigeria, you can use Euro account from Pioneer or maybe like Wise account. But it has to be Euro account because in most cases when you come here and use this GBP account, it's not going to work. So I'm just going to change this to Euro. Now you are going to select the country of the account number of the Euro account number. So let me just log into my Gray account right now so that I can show you how this works. Now this is the Euro account, and you can see that the account number is from United Kingdom. So in your own case, maybe if you use Pioneer, it might not be United Kingdom, but if you use Gray, is United Kingdom, at least at the time I was making this video. Now, what you actually need is this IBAN number. So, you want to copy it. Copy this IBAN. Then, they come back here, paste it here. Then, paste it right here again. Then, once you are done, just come here and click on continue. So, at this point, it's going to ask you to secure your account with any of this. So, in most cases, I'm just going to use phone number. You can see, it says SMS. Is less secure so I'm just going to go with that then click on confirm phone number once you verify the phone number you are just going to download this um, this backup key so this is the backup this is the key you can use to log in if you forget your phone number you misplace your phone number so I'm just going to download it then I'm going to click on this app download the backup code then you can see that say your phone number has been verified so i'm just going to click on done now at this point i'm just going to click on continue now this is where they are going to show you the vat calculation or the task calculation so you can see that it's optional so you just want to skip this part scroll down here and click on skip for now now they are going to show you the form you have been filling so far so this you just want to go through it and make sure everything is correct Okay, so once you verify everything, you just want to scroll down and click on this agree and submit. Alright, now the account is now active. So, 
Um, now, you still have two things to submit. As I said earlier, you need to submit your ID card or your passport, or you can submit your driver's license. So, um, so if I come back home, you can see that they say the account is active. Now, in a few days' time, or maybe after like a few days, they are going to send you a message to submit your ID and your, um, your utility B. So, after that time, I'm going to come back to this video and upload those ID. If I refer you, you can see there is a red notification here that is asking me to provide more information about the account, right? So, when you open this account, you are not going to have issue immediately, right? So, let me show you. So, this is when I open the account. You can see right here, I open the account on the 8th, right? You can see it right here on the 8th. I received this message on the 15th. That is about 7 days after I open this account that I should go ahead and verify my account. So, personally, I know that uh, they are going to request for me to verify this account. That is why I want to walk you through the whole process without up uh, uploading the app video. So, what I'm going to do right now is that I'm going to go ahead and verify this account. One of the things you are going to need to verify the account is your ID card, maybe driver's license, international passport, or if you are from Nigeria, you can use your NIM plastic. They do accept NIM plastic sometimes, they do not accept, so it's based on law. But the two they usually accept is driver's license and international passport. So, now if I click on this add information, you can see it's a missing requirement. So, I'm just going to click update. Now, when I do that, you can see it's a proof of address and uh, proof of uh, document, identity document, which is this proof of address. You have to get it because you are not in UK. So, for you to get it, I'm going to provide the link in the description of this video. So, once you click on that link, it's going to redirect you to this page. This is the exact page it's going to redirect you to. And to get access to this, uh, to get the utility B, if you are from Nigeria, uh, initially, you are supposed to pay 15,000 Naira, but because you are watching this video right now, you will be paying 7,005. Maybe by the time you watch the video, maybe a uh, few weeks or a few more time, maybe the price has increased. Um, but if you are from Nigeria, this is the price you will be paying. Then if you want to pay, just click on this link. It's going to redirect you to a pay stick, then you can go ahead and pay. Now, if you are from other countries, initially, you are supposed to pay $23, but you are going to be paying 11 point 15 dollars to get the utility b and for you to make payment so just click here to make payment and also just keep in mind that if i give you this utility bill and uh you submit it to stripe and they rejected it or they not accept you within three days you are going to be getting your money back now with this proof of identity you are going to provide it yourself with your id card driver's license and all that i've already said that before so you can see these are the two requirements I need to provide there. So I'm just going to go ahead and provide my uh, proof of identity. I'm going to click on upload the file, then click on next. Then click on accept and continue. Then I'm going to choose the file from here. Then once I provide that, I'm just going to click on this look good. Okay, you can see that it's a provided. Now the next I want to provide is this proof of address. So I'm just going to click on upload. Now I'm going to use utility bill, which is electricity bill, um, or you can use gas bill, water bill, uh, mobile phone is not mobile phone bill is not accepted. So these are the three you can use electricity, gas, and water. So I'm just going to click on continue. Then you can see this is the address we upload earlier. So I'm just going to click here. Then I'm going to click on this upload document. Alright, once I do that, I've already uploaded the bill. So I'm just going to click on submit document. Okay, you can see that it said provided. So what I'm going to do at this point is, since I provided these two documents they asked me for, I'm just going to click on this submit. So once I click on submit, you can you can see it say you are all set. So if I show down a little bit, you can see that it says pending verification. So once the account is successfully verified, they are going to notify you. But for now, I'm just going to go back to the dashboard. Sometimes this thing might take few minutes, few hours. Or sometimes it might take days. You understand? It might take days for this uh, verification to went through. So you just have to um, wait for their uh, notification, or just if you, if they verify within few minutes, you can just refresh. You are going to see the notification that you are going to see that the notification is no more here again. You can see. You can see. Say your account is now active again. So if I come back to here, yeah, come back to setting.
and I come back to business. Now under this business, I'm going to click on this account status. Now under this account status, you can see this. You can see there's no active tax here. So if I click on this completed, you can see I've completed this two, which is my ID and the proof of address. Now I can also come to this business details again. Now under this business details, you can see that initially it was showing pending, but the pending is no more here again. It has gone. That means the account is now verified. Now I can start using this account to receive payments. So that is how you can set up a verified Stripe account uh, from anywhere in the world. I hope you find this video helpful. I hope you find this video valuable. If you find this video helpful, kindly give this video a thumbs up so that more people like you can get to see this video. Share this video with your friends. Subscribe to this channel. Turn on the bell notification so that anytime I drop a new video just like this, you'll be among the first people to be notified.